We're about to start off on our trek and I have to say I'm a little bit apprehensive. I'm supposed to talk about my feelings about the uh, beginning of this trip here and uh, I couldn't feel better about it. But the thing for me that I'm just super excited about is just the unexpected. I'm really looking forward to testing myself and seeing my responses in situations that you're never ever going to expect. Uh, we've trained and practiced together for a while now and I think this is going to be a pretty remarkable time. The Hike for Survival was a joint venture between international stunt woman Kai Furneaux and wilderness survival expert Thomas Coyne. This expedition was to be unique, for the two attempting it were taking no food or water and counting solely on the land to provide. Over the course of nine nights and ten days, the two hiked across some of the most striking and rugged backcountry in America. As the elevations varied consistently from 4,000 feet to over 9,000 feet, their endurance was constantly tested. The two used map and compass skills combined with state-of-the-art GPS systems to navigate their way through a route they had never laid eyes on before, a route that sometimes disappeared altogether for miles. The two trekked over 100 miles across countless high mountain passes, wild backcountry rivers, through ancient redwood forests and simply put through some of the most amazing places America has to offer. But this expedition was about more than just hiking. It was about living off the land. It was about finding water to stave off the dehydration that can kill a person in less than a day. It was about locating and processing the wild medicines needed to treat any injuries that could risk the expedition. It was about attempting to capture the whole adventure on film to share with the world. It was about the struggle of two individuals seeking to test the limits of their knowledge and endurance. It was about shining a light on an amazing land. And above all else, it was about survival. We did it. We're walking down the final stretch of road. It feels, <laughs> feels pretty damn good being done, I'll tell you what. The, the hardest thing I've ever done, there's definitely times when I was like, I, I can't go on. That's my big toe, man, this feels like it's got a small break in it. I'm feeling amazing. I can't believe we did it. So I couldn't be happier. Uh, yeah, I'm stoked. <laughs>